Hello guys, it is Fisher Penguins here, and today I'll be doing a review of Lego Star Wars General Grievous' wheel bike. This set number is 75040, it is ages 7 to 12, comes with 261 pieces and retails for £20. So, um, yeah, let's get into the figures. First up, you do get Obi Wan, who was um, one of the Jedi's that hasn't come with a lightsaber. I don't think there's been many, but um, he is definitely, definitely rare to get a Jedi about his lightsaber. So obviously in this scene in episode 3, his lightsaber fell down the sinkhole and uh, he had to use a blaster and said to kill General Grievous. He also just come with a Magna Guard um, staff, which I take off, just to show you the printing on him. Yeah, that's really cool, looks really accurate to episode 3. So this means I do have... Now I've got this set, I do have all the Obi-Wan, so episode 1, 2, 3, um, original se series and Clone Wars. So yeah, I might do a video comparing them all. Depends. That's Obi-Wan. Next up is the set you're going to... So the reason you're going to buy the set, really, is General Grievous. Um, mainly because... Two reasons. One, because it's the episode 3 version. And two, because the last set we got him in was a Malevolence, and that was about 100 quid, so... Yeah, definitely a lot cheaper way to get a better version of General Grievous. You can see detail there. And of course, he does come with his trademark four lightsabers: two blue, two green. So he's just a really, really cool figure. Anyway, now let's actually get onto the set itself. There it is. And as you can see, it's a really cool set. And. Uh, as you can see, there's a little pink control panel there. That is actually printed. If I can get it into the light, I'll show you better. It's printed, and that is actually in a split second in the movie. Because I was watching the episode 3 the other day, and I just spotted that. And I realised, oh yeah, that's what that is on the set, pretty much. So that's really cool. There is a little thing here. General Givers can sit there, but because it's very hard to put him on, I do that at the end. Um, I might just do that separately. Uh, this thing, you know, the wheel in the middle, just spin like that. So you can have lots of fun doing that. And that th in the middle, it's all one big glass see-through piece. So um, yeah, you can just stick it on, make this little tread, and put it around this glass piece, which looks really cool. There is a little clip on the back there, which you can put um, over one's blaster on. Quickly do that. You can clip on the blaster. I'll probably have to do it the other way around. There we go, it's clipped on there. Yeah, it's not the easiest place to put it on, but there is a clip there. This thing here is just really to hold it, and also um, I'll show you what that does. That's really that. But what that's for in a minute. Here is the little weapons bit. You've got two little blasters here which do not move. And for some reason in this set, um, it's one of the pretty much the only set that is in a battle pack that doesn't come with a new flick, um, spring loaded missiles. It just comes with a regular flick fire, which you just push. And yeah. I don't know why they didn't put a flick fire, sorry, a spring loaded. Maybe it's because they started designing this before they did, did spring loaded, but yeah, it's a bit disappointing. I wish I would have put a spring loaded missile because it's so much fun. Um, yeah, this thing doesn't really have weapons in, anyway in the movie. It's mainly just for escaping. And uh, you see these legs? Um, they can like move in, like so. You just retract the claws and move them back. I'll probably move this one first. Move in the claws. Just under there like that. And uh, do the same on the other side. Just flip them in. Flip the claws back. Do the same here. Really neat. It can be challenging, but um, yeah, it's usually quite easy. And now, it is now in a, a ball mode, sort of. And, uh, I'll take the stud, this base, actually no, I'll just move the travel over here, just show you um, 
it does move really easily on carpet it's very fun to just wheel around like so and you see that thing on the back that's really to hold it as you're wheeling so you can just like kneel <laughs> like that yeah really easy to move it's really the, like, the highlight of this little thing you can just do that really easily Yeah, there's just some set um, boxes fell off there. Sorry if you can hear that. And yeah, I'm probably going to pause it and come back to show to put them on. But pretty much to put drum grooves on, you do put his legs on these bits here, but it is very hard to do. So I'll kind of cut and then come back to get when I have put him on because it did take me a long time to do it off camera. So yeah, there you go. That's what he looks like when he's on. I'll probably move his head forward a bit. But yeah. I would show you what he looks like when he's on the bike. So now I'm going to go on to the extras in the set. In the save time, I've gone to the pages of the building and it's 54. Also, they have this other little thing that shows you kind of a little overview of the features. Plus, it gives you a little poster of all the minifigures, which I should have. Because, I'm, as I said, I'm going to try and get all these sets in this wave, but. It's looking slightly unlikely, but I might be able to nearly do it, maybe leave out one or two, but yeah. Anyway, the Screaming Kid, um, sad to see him go in Lego City, but yeah, he's still here and here. And that's the front. So yeah, spare pieces. You do get one of these black connector pieces. You get black stud. You get one of these like you get through these like grey piece things um yeah they're really not to call them but, um they're like technic things you get one of these things like grey you get a spare control panel really nice you get a chrome lightsaber hilt but then you just get a plain light grey one you get two of these light grey short connector pieces. You get a blue connector piece. Plus, you get a dark grey slanty piece. Now, the box. The box is a decent size. Um, there we go. There is a little thing on the front. Which is kind of unreal. Sorry if you heard my phone there, but. Um, yeah, slightly unrealistic because he's kind of like clinging on. Where obviously in the film he's on Boga, that lizard creature, which um, is kind of a con of this set. Again, pros and cons at the end. Which I don't know if I mentioned that, but I got doing a new feature where instead of the little thing where I give my opinion, I'm instead just going to do pros and cons. But yeah, they're both new, not brand new, but like redesigned. On the back here, you've got um, the little leg moving. The rolling and the flick missile. Got a little action scene up there. And the designer's view. And obviously you guys got the, the Darth Vader design. But now I'm going to go on to my new pros and cons. So hey guys, I have um, made a list of the pros and cons on my laptop. So um, if you see me looking down, it's just a look at the list. Um, so first of all, I'm going to go for my pros. The minifigs. Um, you get these two... Really, really, really cool figs, Obi Wan and General Grievous. Just really, really nice um, to get the full lightsabers like, with General Grievous and the Magna Guard staff. Um, yeah, and I love how Lego were true to the scene and included a blast of Obi Wan instead of a lightsaber. The realism again just adds to the set. Um, the design of the wheel in the middle. If you've seen the original version, it's kind of just like a bubble piece with printing on it, but this. It's more realistic. Um, is actually treads and a thing in the middle. So yeah, props to Lego for doing that. The legs are easy to fold in, um, and the claws are easy to fold. And the price per piece, 260 pieces for 20 pounds. It's brilliant. And the playability. And what I mean by that is, you know, kind of the when you're wheeling it around, it's got lots of play value added to that because of that. Of the cons. When it's stand in like standing mode, the legs can be a bit flimsy, and even if you touch it slightly, it kind of kind of goes in on its caves in on itself. 
So yeah, that's a bit annoying. Um, another thing is when trying to put General Grievous by mounting him onto um this bit here it is slightly difficult. Plus, you can't have his lightsaber in his hand when you're mounting him on, otherwise it won't fit on. So yeah, it's a bit tight in there. It's just um, you know, it's not the best design there. Another thing is the flick fire. Um, really should be keeping up with all the other sets and having a spring loaded missile there instead. I'm very disappointed with that really. And another thing which I wouldn't really say this decreases from the set, but the original one did come with um the Boga, the Lizard Obi Wan rides. Again, still that would have probably raised the price to about thirty quid. But um even so, um it's not it doesn't ruin the set that it's not in. But for personally to make it really true to the scene Andres, I would have I'll, I'll be willing to pay more to get Boga. I'll be willing to pay ten pounds more, yeah, to get this set plus Boga. So um, that's part and personal pros and cons. Um, please say if you prefer this to the original thing. I know I do. Instead of kind of droning on about the same thing every time. Yeah, please like, subscribe, comment, and uh, bye.